So my journey at HBA started in first grade. I tried to get in in kindergarten because my older sister came here. But when I had the, uh, the um, interview with Dr. Ovit, who was principal at the time, she rejected me because she asked me my name and I sat there and cried. So she told my parents that I wasn't ready. So I had to go to another uh, preschool or uh, kindergarten. And then I came back uh, for first grade and I got in on a probation, uh, according to Dr. Ovit. And by the end of the year, um, my parents said I ended up pretty much at the tops of the class. Had an idea I wanted to go into teaching. So I ended up going to University of Northern Colorado, got into the teaching program. Um, about midway through, I had this idea of perhaps wanting to go into chiropractic, which is what my dad was. In the back of my head too, I was like, oh, this would be super easy because my dad already has the clientele. He's got the business going like super easy for me to get into it. I ended up registering for summer school classes to kind of start switching over my major into um, all the gen ed stuff to get into chiropractic. Like a week before summer school started, I, I find out I was not registered for anything. I started praying about it, started thinking, and I was like, you know what, this is not my dream. This is not something that perhaps I want to do. I think I want to continue my passion to stick with teaching. So I think it was really a God event that was like, this is not your calling, I want you to go and do teaching it. For me, a lot of my connections with HBA is still with my, my group of friends. I, I've been fortunate enough to have a group of friends where we still have these group texts, we still play fantasy football together, we still have random barbecues and gatherings. At HBA, it, I was able to create really special relationships, not only with students, but with teachers. I was really fortunate to be able to become close with certain teachers. Um, where they were actually spiritual and academic mentors and seeing that, that you can be more than just a person in the classroom teaching and grading papers, but you can actually be something outside of the classroom. So I think for me it's a lot of the, the relationship things that's, that really makes it you know, special here and that I took that from, from high school and, and I could see like, hey, that's, that's something that you know, I want to be able to, to impact other students and families with.